Hi there, this is uh, Mark from ADSR on the Zebra tutorial website. Um, I've just been making, I've been making a track recently just using Zebra, so everything's Zebra, the kick, the bass, the snare, the closed hi-hat, the leads, and whatever, and I came up, I thought I'd use the, <laughs> forgot what it's called, the, no, none of that, that's for sure, wait a minute, have I got the wrong one up, this one? Yes, the glimmering pad patch that we made earlier, this one. And I was messing around with it, and I just I came up with something I really like. So I thought I'd show you how to make that. Basically, it's the premise, or it's it's what you would kind of start to do to make very long evolving pads. Now, what we've got here is this basic pad. And all I've done is manipulate, or modulate, sorry, the cutoff, eh, the cutoff, the tuning on each of these oscillators with an MSEG, a multi-stage envelope generator. Now, it's extremely easy to do this. All we have to do, first thing, we go to the MSEG and we right click on the first one and we tell it we want the loop to start there. In this case, the, the pad sound that I've got is an 8 bar loop. So we're going to use that, so we just bring it up here, so this one's on the end of bar 8, so we'll just say loop end and we'll get rid of that point. If we double click here, we have our 8 bar loop here. Now all I've done is drawn a pattern in, it's whatever I felt like I could what that I wanted to do, something that I liked. Making sure, of course, it doesn't go any further than our eight loops. Right click, just hold Alt down and left click. So uh, that's all I've done. And then what I've done is gone to the tuning on each one and selected MSEG1. And right, let's just see what happens if I put it up. I have also put it to notes so that it moves very slowly. So if I now play that, and that's it working over the eight bars. So that's kind of cool, I thought. Now, of course, with it being an MACG, you can use it to modulate anything. Now, I haven't done anything else, so what I'm about to do now is just trial and error. But what about if we do it to the cutoff as well? Let's try it. Filter 1, cutoff, modulated MACG 1. Let's have a listen. That's because it's low. So we're starting to get a lot of movement there, basically just by using an MSEG on the tuning and on the cutoff. So as you can imagine, you could just you could go crazy and use it on anything, anything you want. What could we do? Now, I'm not sure what's oscillator one like. That's okay. That's... Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we've kind of got pre-drawn, but there's nothing else in there, so we can't really do that. Um, we could... What else could we modulate? We could modulate the rate of the LFO. It probably won't work in this instance, but you could miss maybe the resonance. Which it doesn't go too high though. You'll be able to hear and damage your ears. But as you can see, that's a never that's always changing over those eight bars anyway. And of course, you can put as many in as you like, as long as you keep them to some kind of time. Mm -hmm. 
make it really freaky. Okay, put that one up there. Yeah. Bring that one up to there. Okay, this is going to sound crazy, but that's moved somewhat. So let's just hear what happens with this one. So there you have it, and of course it may sound a bit crazy, but if we add it into what I was doing, so this is one I've just made. So as you can see, it's kind of fits. There's probably some other things I would do, is maybe take the tuning down. Whatever, but as you can see, that's a very easy way to get a slow or a quick evolving pad. In this instance, it's more, it's it's not really something, well, I suppose you could use it in ambient music, but you would probably make it like a 32 bar pad and just have the MSEG mapped out over 32 bars and just have it constantly changing, affecting all different things. See, obviously I've got them all. I've got it affecting the tuning all the same and of course you could maybe drop your tune in on some of them. Let's see what it sounds like with this. Uh, drop that by twenty four. This is I don't know what this is gonna sound like. Interesting. And of course, you could make it really fast, and but well, you can do that here actually. You change that to quarter notes. All kinds of things you can do, even just with this section. rhythmic pattern almost obviously if you're going to do it on slow evolving stuff I would just leave it on notes but there you go I thought you might find that interesting while I was working away there hope you enjoyed that see you in the next video